been messing with people's lives lately? McCoy, where the hell you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah? Am I wanted dead or alive? You don't know what you are, kid. You can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh, yeah. The department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Bryant and the brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise, it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. What do you want, McCoy? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. I can't do that. You better start finding a way, because I got another call to make. Okay, okay. How do we work this out? We can't talk over the damn phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. At the bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there, alone. And you better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. out of my apartment. It's cleaner than when you left it. My dog? Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. Is that everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid, those insect photos are pretty real. Let me guess, Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother. Said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You can satisfy your blackmailer. And keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade? I got it all right here. Photos, files, discs, the works. It ain't a pretty sight. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? Farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? It finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. Twenty years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was off. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. There's no way I'm retiring another rep. Not after what I've been through. It ain't worth it. Do it yourself. Hell, kid, you're my only hope. If they knew I was meeting you, I'd be dead already. And I know I got what you want. Does it make any difference now? We had a deal, remember? You might want to give it up, but I ain't ready yet. 
That's the difference between you and me. I'm a fighter. What the hell are you? I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Looks that way, ma. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. But you gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. <laughs> and if I told you that Sadiq has a pulse rifle trained right at your heart? Without me, you for sure ain't going nowhere. Lieutenant, we have everything we need. And that doesn't include you. Too bad we're becoming such good friends. Whatever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free. Then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! So, what shall we do with this detective? He's been so persistent. Dump a copy of all the data in this directory to Drive D. You're making me very unhappy, old friend. McCoy. You could say that. Steele is looking for you. And Brian. You've been keeping the whole department hopping. You and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking. Not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life, too, maybe. But we don't live forever, do we? <laughs> 